Hey guys, Zal here. Now you may have heard of the use of hydrogen as a new super fuel. It is cleaner than fossil fuels and doesn't take the crazy charging times that battery electric vehicles take. And while hydrogen may be a path forward in the future of transportation, with our current technology there are a lot of caveats in how hydrogen is produced and the chemistry behind it that actually make hydrogen fueling a lot dirtier of a fuel technology than many people would think. In this video I want to go over the different types of hydrogen technologies and why they aren't actually the cleanest option, at least for now, and what technologies could be put in place to actually clean up hydrogen production. With that, let's hop right into it. Now the first myth I want to debunk is the use of hydrogen in hydrogen internal combustion engine vehicles or just motors in general. Now this might seem like a good idea if you look at the basic chemical equation of hydrogen reacting in air with oxygen combusting creates water, and water is an obviously non-toxic, non-greenhouse gas byproduct, and this might seem like a great idea. The issue arises when you take into the fact that these engines are not going to be burning in a pure oxygen atmosphere, they're going to be burning fuel in Earth's atmosphere, and Earth's atmosphere is mostly nitrogen. So when you have these hydrogen-oxygen reactions, but in the presence of nitrogen atmosphere at these high temperatures, you can actually produce nitrogen oxides, and these nitrogen oxides are polluting gases, which means the use of hydrogen as an internal combustion engine fuel actually can create almost six times the nitrogen oxides as natural gas fuels. Creating a motor that would burn hydrogen in a pure oxygen environment is possible, but it would add astronomically to the complexity and you would have to also supply oxygen along with the hydrogen. This means hydrogen internal combustion engines aren't a great solution for the use of hydrogen fuels and creating a greener method of producing energy. Now that we've talked about hydrogen's use in internal combustion engines, we can go on to how hydrogen is actually produced as a fuel because this is super important to how we determine if hydrogen is a green energy source. And of the poster child of green hydrogen production would be electrolysis. And this is done simply by running an electrical current through water. And this electrical current basically splits these water molecules in half, creating pure hydrogen and oxygen gas, which can then be extracted and shipped off to be used as fuel. The issue with this electrolysis method is you do need a supply of electricity in, and this electricity for it to be a green fuel would need to come from green sources, solar, nuclear, or wind. And there's also a lot of energy lost here because you are taking the electrical current from, say, solar panels, turning it into hydrogen, and then using the hydrogen somewhere else. The advantage of this, of course, is that Hydrogen is a lot quicker to fill up on if you're thinking in the form of vehicles, and also it is kind of difficult to ship just electrical current over long distances. We can actually do a little electrolysis experiment at home with just some wire, batteries, water, and I'm using pencil lead as my anode and cathode. And you also want to add a little bit of salt to the water because water on its own isn't actually conductive. It conducts through the ions in the water. So we're giving it a little ion boost and just attach these wires to each terminal of the battery wrap them around your pencil lead and stick them in the water, and soon enough you can see these little bubbles forming and those are your hydrogen and oxygen gas. Our issue with this is electrolysis currently is expensive and isn't the best way to actually create hydrogen, despite being a green way to create hydrogen. And because of this, most of the world's hydrogen production doesn't come from electrolysis. Now we move on to where most of the world's hydrogen actually come from, and that is actually fossil fuels, mostly natural gas. 
Natural gas is made up of mostly methane, and it is put through a process called steam methane reforming, where steam is put in with your natural gas at around a thousand degrees Celsius in the presence of a nickel catalyst, and what this does is it basically splits off these hydrogens from the methane, creating your H2 gas with carbon monoxide as a byproduct. This carbon monoxide is then put through a gas shift reaction where it's put with the steam at actually a much lower temperature by a few hundred degrees Celsius, and this combines with the CO and the water, the carbon monoxide, and it creates an extra amount of hydrogen and also carbon dioxide, which is then put into the atmosphere. As you can see, this production of hydrogen uses both fossil fuels and it also puts CO2 in the atmosphere, which as we can guess, is an actually a green form of energy production because you're just putting greenhouse gases in the atmosphere. This is the world's main source of hydrogen, and unless we transfer our hydrogen production to using green energy sources to make hydrogen in electrolysis reactions, we are actually just using fossil fuels kind of the same way as we are with gas and putting greenhouse gases back into the atmosphere. And so hydrogen can't actually become a green, clean energy source unless there is investment in electrolysis to produce hydrogen. And therefore, currently, hydrogen isn't actually a green energy source. And if you look into the chemistry behind it, it is pretty dirty and uses the same sort of fossil fuel mining and greenhouse gas emissions as normal fossil fuels. And with that, I hope you guys liked the video. I hope you learned something and I will see you next time.